Greetings and welcome to a Tiny Rhinos WordPress video tutorial series. If you have a WordPress website and you would like to get higher search engine rankings, then head on over to a tinyrhino.com and sign up your website. Now, in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to determine if a user is logged in or if they're not. Why would we want to do this? Well, maybe we want to display something different for users who are logged in and maybe a member login link for users who are not. This is great for a paid member area. So maybe you have content that you only want to display to users who are paid members. Well, we're going to do that right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on add new and we're going to add a new page and we're going to call it member area. So let's go ahead and type that in. And we're just going to type in some content like we normally do on the page. We will say, here is your content. Thank you for joining. I mean, you could type in anything you want here that you want to show to paid members. Now, I have a custom PHP template, so we're going to use that. We want to switch to this template because we don't want to change the page.php or the default template. We don't want to change this that comes with the WordPress theme. So we're going to make our own theme, which we already have over here, and we'll change it. So let's go ahead and publish that. Now, that page will display the content as usual. I just want to skip a couple of pages here. So now, if we look at this page, we're going to display it. We're going to look at the, we're going to view it, and we'll, we will see the title and our content. But we only want paid members to see this. So how do we display a member log, login link or tell members, hey, you can't look at this content until you log in? Well, we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to add some code here. And I'm going to take this link, which is the content link. And we're going to put it right under here. Let's also add a paragraph tag here. We don't need this hyperlink. So now what we're going to do is if a member is logged in, it's going to say, welcome and whatever your first and last name is and then show the content. But if you're not logged in, we're just going to say something like, oops, you are not <coughs> logged in. Please click this link to view your member content. So if we refresh that, Now it's going to actually welcome me. It's going to say welcome uh, Bruce, but it's above the content. That's just because we have to add it here, which it's calling a template part, but you can change that. So right now it's saying welcome and it shows my name here. Okay, so here is your content. But what if I'm not logged in? What would happen? So let's log out. And let's go back to that web page. And now it says, oops, you are not logged in. Please click this link to view your member content and you'll just log in. Okay, so let's look at the code behind all this. Now, it's really driven by this function right here that comes with WordPress. It's is user logged in. It returns a Boolean value, true or false. If it's true, then all of this will be processed. If it's false, which means the user is not logged in, then everything here will be logged, will be processed. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using the WP get current user function to give me an object. It's actually a method. It'll give me an object, current user, and then I could put my first or last name in there and then process it and echo it out. So that's how it works. You can use 
this function is user logged in for anything in the conditional to process whether a user is logged in or not. And that is it. So thank you for watching. And please remember to sign up your website with a tiny rhino. Thank you.